Hello guys, today I want to share with you this video about another way to get the factor of angle which is very known by all of you because this is a very important tool to get the tension on the slings I hope you like this video and let's check it out Whenever we want to calculate tension on a slings, both of, of them, we do need the length of the sling, the height between this point and this point of the load, and of course the force, which is the mass of the load. We do use this equation, tension on a slings, equals to force, mass of the load, multiply it by the factor of angle which is as we said the length divided by the height but what happens if we don't have this or if we don't have this what could we do in that case if we don't know the length or the height we can use this this horizontal angle I'm gonna say this one more time the factor of angle is the length divided by the height if we or I don't have the length or the height I can do this or use the angle we all know that the same of the angle, the alpha angle, is equal to the height divided by the length. We have now similar expressions here length divided by the height and height divided by the length what can we do now i think we can change the positions of this the l goes up and the h goes below like this but if we change the positions here we must change the positions here too it was up now it goes below so it means that we have this angle just this angle we can know what is the factor of angle now we are going to check if this expression is right let's check what a uh, cross by says here like cross by says if we have an horizontal sling angle in degrees of 900 or 90 this is the horizontal angle we're gonna have a low angle factor of one if we have 60 degrees, we're going to have 1.155 and so on. Now, we're going to use this. Here, here. 1 divided by the same of alpha. Now we have alpha 9 here 1 divided by the same of 90. Now we are going to have to use our calculator. Now we see this is equals to 1. We can do the same for the, for the other angles. 60, 50, 45, and 30.
As we can see here, using this equation, we get the same load angle factor than using this L divided by, by H. So, we can use that equation when we don't have the length or the height. It means that we, we can get the load angle factor only by knowing this angle.